okay, tell me, tell me why a, a bag of cement in Nigeria is 10,000 naira. Just tell me one reason why. Tell me why fuel is more than 1,300. There's no reason why. There's no reason whatsoever. I'm telling you, there's no reason whatsoever. There's no justifiable reason. There's no good road. There's no good road anywhere. There's insecurity. There's hunger. I mean, people have resorted to even kidnapping to feed. Why should it go to that extent? Exactly. Because the government is not doing what they should do. Here we are enjoying Canada, enjoying the beautiful country. Yeah. Everybody's still abiding here. Because, okay, you heard the other guy talking about uh, uh, being off work, uh, going through some issues. personal issues, yeah. and how the government is going to be giving him some, check yeah. to at least um, house ha pressure. Exactly. House himself, feed himself, take care of his children. How many African countries can their citizens boast that the government can intervene in their life personally? Hello, do you need airport pickup and drop off in Ghana? Get the best experience with AK's Possibility Concert. Thank you. Hey, wonderful people, thank you very much for being on my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Yes, and it's so beautiful. To me, it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, aside the coldness, it gives beautiful beautification. Yeah, that's how I'm going to call it. But there is one interesting war that is happening amongst two African countries. It's a beautiful war. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful, interesting war. And everybody want to be a part of this discussion. I came to Canada, you know, just to chill, you know, do my thing. And I met a brother who is from Nigeria. <laughs> He's always laughing. <laughs> oh, let me show you this beautiful scene. Wow. Bro, this is nice. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Yes, let's take the fact that we are in you know in the western world and it's beautiful i wish my cape coast would be like this you know i'll talk about development in cape coast very soon but yes um there's this war beautiful war between ghanaians and nigerians and today it's my time i've never had this conversation before but today i have a nigerian brother here and then we're going to talk about something which is similar and common with nigerians and ghanaians first of all have you tasted Ghanaian jollof before? No. You haven't? No. It's unfortunate that I'm not a good cook. I would have prepared something for you. But I'll look around. I know there are Ghanaian women around with big nyash. <laughs> anyway, um, I know Nigeria is beautiful. Nigeria is like Ghana. I mean, when you travel out, right, and then somebody sees you, the first thing they say is, are you a Nigerian? Can you say that Nigerians have this heart to be everywhere? What is it with Nigerians and being, you know, all over the world? Uh, well, uh, the, the popular saying in Nigeria is, uh, any country you go, you don't see a Nigerian there. Mm -hmm. Then uh, just no, just run away. The country is not doing well. So if the economy of the country is fantastic, if everything about the country, if there's a potential of uh, getting a better life, mm -hmm. then definitely you're going to see a Nigerian there. No matter where, even in Antarctica, <laughs> <laughs> even inside the belly of a whale, provided <laughs> that okay. there's a uh, substance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see a Nigerian there. Okay. So it means that when it comes to the economy of this world, Nigerians really play a part. Yeah, I think so. And I and think so. and and do you think? Do you think there is a particular item or a section or a sector of the economy that Nigerians really get interested in, are, are really interested in? Nigerians are really interested in everything. I mean, whatever they can lay their hands on is what they can do, provided it pays the bills. <laughs> I mean, Nigeria, you see a Nigerian there. Is it paying the bill? Uh, yeah, sure. 
uh, that's why you find Nigerians everywhere. Football, they're passionate about it. You check the uh, Afro beat, the dancing, the uh, music, yeah, yeah. Uh, the boxing, the UFC, everything. Provided it's something that is uh, lucrative, pays the bills. In short, you will always find a Nigerian anywhere you see progress. Okay. Let's take it from me. Okay. Uh, beautiful. So, I mean, from what he's saying, anywhere there is progress, you find a Nigerian there. So, if you're a Nigerian and you're watching this video, uh, kindly confirm what he's saying that anywhere in the world where you find a Nigerian, it means there's progress there. And then he made mention that you can find Nigerians in all sectors of life, it means they are everywhere. Now, um, you said, have you, have you been to Ghana? I've not been to Ghana. Oh, Omo, Omo, you've, you've wasted all your life in Nigeria. When I say wasted, don't come and beat me. I mean, there are a lot of things you could you could find in Nigeria because I see a lot of the Nigerian artists coming to Ghana okay. on holidays. Okay. Uh, this guy, uh, Burner Boy. Okay. Burner Boy comes to Ghana, Whiskey. They have connections in Ghana and everything and all that. So, Nigeria is Ghana and Ghana is Nigeria. Yeah. The only difference is maybe your currency. When you mention the currency, it's too big. But when we bring it down to convert it to Ghana City, we realize, why are you mentioning this big money, but it's really small? You know, previously you're talking about the economy of Nigeria. And then you said during the Jonathan's time, things were pretty much okay. What would you say as a Nigerian now, looking at the economy of Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Ghana. When you ask anybody, any Ghanaian about the economy of Ghana, they will say, now Ghana is like, it's messed up. Like fuel, um, I mean, electricity. I mean, Nigeria is such a beautiful place. It's, Nigeria is such a beautiful place with um, so much potential of yeah. greatness. Mm -hmm. um, I strongly think that. Um, uh, they should let the poor breathe. Yeah. I strongly think that they should let the poor breathe. You know, it saddens me so much that um, I, I can't enjoy Nigeria the way I used to. Mm -hmm. I mean, back then in school, I used to enjoy Nigeria. I mean, Continue when you have 100,000 naira, you, as a student, I could buy things from, my, my shoes were from UK. Mm -hmm. You know, I buy everything from UK outside the country and all that. Life was easy, mm -hmm. but now, you know, anything you touch, they tell you everything is just untouchable. Yeah, you know, and then it's crazy. The cost of living in Nigeria is so, is so high. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, comparing it versus outside the country, it's nothing. But I mean, if you check how you can get the money. Mm -hmm what it takes for you to get that money as a common man then you find out that it's, it's a big deal yeah it's a big deal and it's uh it's a problem you know i strongly wish and hope and pray that the, the government is going to fix it i mean the youth they don't even have plans for the youth yeah. they don't have plans for the and the youth that we have now which is us mm -hmm. they expect us to train um they expect us to train uh these newborns mm -hmm. i mean what are, have they offered us what have they yeah. given us yeah. what can, what are we going to offer to the upcoming generation so i feel for the people in nigeria i feel for them there's no recreational activity mm -hmm. in most places mm -hmm. a child wants to go uh, uh, a child wants to um if a father wants to take a child out yeah. where are you taking the child yeah. to biapalo where they are drinking i mean you are not allowing the child to be a child yeah the school curriculum is messed up. Everything is messed up. They need a thorough revamp of all the sectors. Mm -hmm. They need to declare a state of emergency in everything. I'm telling you. The president does not even have to do every single thing. He can just pick one or two or three aspects of the economy mm -hmm. and then just fix it. Yeah. And then let another person fix the rest. I mean, I think uh, everybody, uh, people will be fine or better off. <sighs> It's, it's it's crazy the same thing is happening in Ghana you know it's hard for you to say that I mean within your do you know people would have to travel let's say those in Cape Coast we have to travel in order to send children to maybe uh, like a playground like you're saying you know just for kids to experience 
other life you know experience other things but we don't get it like that and it looks like the people who are in charge of the country they don't care no, they, don't. they don't care i mean recently you could hear from ghana that the parliamentarians are fighting over who is supposed to be in minority majority meanwhile the people do not even have water to drink it's crazy. you go to places our our water bodies are so messed up because of Galamse. I don't know if you heard of Galamse. No. So Galamse is illegal mining. Oh, yeah. So they mine along the lagoons, the streams that gives us water to drink. They've messed everything up. And now people even don't get good water to drink. And yes, and last month there was um, a demonstration and then the government saw the need to arrest people and then send them to court. Just because they are protesting that we need good drinking water stop destroying our you know streams our water bodies so that we can have good water to drink these are some of the things that i think some of us who see ourselves as changes you understand we have to talk more of this because if we don't it will look like the government will look like oh we are okay with it but we are not i have made plans to start a project in my community or my my town it's called cape coast so cape coast houses you know the castles when it comes to slave trade yeah the castle the dungeons and all that and talk of development my brother people who have traveled out of cape coast for a longer time and are now coming back are saying that the cape coast that we left is still the same cape coast we are seeing now so where is the development coming in why are we not developing this is another conversation that all of us would have to come together and 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 discuss but like we're doing right now uh ghana nigeria there's a lot that needs to be done i so mean so yes yeah, so, so, so much a lot so much. a lot so a much. lot first of all the change will have to come from the leaders who set the policies mm -hmm. i strongly think that they lack love in their hearts because if they have love for humanity, if they love their country, they're going to do the right things. Right. It's not a question of, uh, okay, tell me, tell me why a, a bag of cement in Nigeria is 10,000 naira. Just tell me one reason why. Tell me why fuel is more than 1,300. There's no reason why. There's no reason whatsoever. I'm telling you, there's no reason whatsoever. There's no justifiable reason. There's no good road. There's no good road anywhere. There's insecurity. There's hunger. I mean, people have resorted to even kidnapping to feed. Why should it go to that extent? Exactly. Because the government is not doing what they should do. Here we are enjoying Canada, enjoying the beautiful country. Yeah. Everybody's still abiding here. Because, okay, you heard the other guy talking about uh, uh, being off work, uh, going through some personal issues yeah. and how the government is going to be giving him Some, check yeah. to at least um, house ha exactly house himself feed himself take care of his children how many african countries can their citizens boast that the government can intervene in their life personally and i'll show you next to nothing it's, it's, crazy. It's, it's crazy. crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, when you find, when you come to, like he said, we are in Canada. We are enjoying good road. You're enjoying the system. You know, you wake up. There's, there's, there's water flowing. There's, there's light. You're not scared to uh, leave your phone to go low battery or whatever. But because in Ghana, if your, if your battery goes fifty percent, you have to find a way to charge it because you wouldn't know. The next minute, there's no light, and you, and you, and you are confused. What are these people doing about some of these things? Like you said, most of our people, they lack love. I, I, I did my IT mm -hmm. in 2009 in SPDC. Okay. I can assure you that SPDC, throughout my six months there, they never took the light even for one day. Mm -hmm. SPDC generate their own electricity. From my understanding, they also give out power to some communities in River State. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what is the big deal giving Nigerians 24 hours uninterrupted power supply? What is the big deal? What is it that Shell is doing right inside Nigeria that Nigeria cannot do? 
and do it even better. What is it? We are not just being, we, are not, we don't love ourselves. When you leave Canada and you leave some of all these other countries and you come back to Nigeria and you see how people are moving, it tells you that number one, there is no love from the leaders mm -hmm. because if they have love in their heart, the basic things, the love for their citizens will be their top priority. Right. They are not going to rest until their citizens are, or at least have a feeling of being happy. It's crazy. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> let's face Canada, please. Yeah, let's face Canada, man. I mean, sometimes it gets too emotional when you when you think that, you know, somebody told me something. He said, God created the world, right? And placed people at where they are supposed to be placed. Why are certain places so developing and others are not? So, like you said, what is it? What is the problem? What is the main problem? Why why are we not developing? Why are you not why are we not like the other countries that are also developed? Look at the road. Look at the road. No pothole. No, no pothole. No pothole. Zero pothole. I mean, everything is is systemized. I did I told you that I did my uh, driver's license. That is another thing that I will talk about. I mean, there is a system. Go through the first set when you pass, go to the second set. Hello. Do you need airport pickup and drop off in Ghana? Get the best experience with AK's Possibility Concert. Thank you. But when the system starts working, we will see development all over. Anyway, we just out here. Uh, we're just gonna enjoy the sun. You know, it's pretty cold, and we are out here. You can see the sun is on my face. Yeah, so we're just gonna go out and enjoy some sun. You know, sit around. But let me show you how beautiful this place is. I mean, the road, the road network. Even on the beautiful road, they're still constructing. Yes, <laughs> they're still constructing to make it even finer. Yes, and and one one sad thing is that we are all part of it. I mean, what I'm going to say. One sad part is that upon, I mean, we will go to an extent, save a lot of money and move to somebody's country because those people are making that country livable. You understand what I'm saying? We save all our monies in wherever work you're doing. You don't even want to eat. You want to save up all your salary and everything for you just to move to someone's country because the leaders in those countries, they have decided to make the country a livable country. So why can't Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, uh, Uganda, why can't we have something like this? Why then do we have to save all this money just to be in someone's country? Because we want to have a better life. And it's, everything boils down to better life. If, it is, if, if, if we had a better life in Ghana, good road, there's always water, salaries are being paid according to um your work you know so one time i read something and it really i was very sad there is a job in ghana called um zoom lion so zoom lion what they do is they clean they clean the city and can you believe the amount that they are paid per month and even for nine months that money has never been paid uh the money in my currency is 250 ghana cities in dollars that would be like uh 15 to 16 dollars are you listening to what I'm saying? 15 to 16 dollars a month. Not not an hour. A month. A month. A whole month. 30 days. Somebody will be cleaning the city. You know, cleaning all the uncleanable things. When people, you know, dispose of unnecessarily out there. And these people go out there. Zoom lion. They go out to clean. To make the city beautiful. And they are paid 16 to 17 dollars a month and even for six uh, for nine months they've not received their salary and some of us will sit back and say oh we can make ghana better we can make nigeria better if the leaders if the system that is supposed to make things better is not making it better it's so sad i know uh we've had conversations about you know africans who want to go to school in uh sharp who want to go to school in some of these western world just to learn and bring whatever they've learned back to the motherland but the question is they will go and learn and come the system still remains the system doesn't support you so it's like 
it's a fallacy when when i hear people say i'm gonna go out there to learn and bring the chain Ghana to which nigeria it's so sad we have to do something about it if you're here and you're, you're you're watching this video share this video let whoever have to see it see it and i think we ourselves will have to come together and work out something because these leaders they have nothing they have hate in their heart like my brother is saying they don't have love if you have love you you sleep and wake up and think about your people your people what are they gonna eat what are they gonna do is the road okay these people are in the villages they have to bring their produce to the cities how are they gonna do it do we have good road for them do, do we have great transportation system for them everything is just messed up <laughs> Go bandit, turn up, oh my man.